What God did in Nehemiah's life, God wants to do in your life. See, when it's God's plan, it's God's provisions. Amen? God doesn't want you just to barely get by. God wants you to have a life and to have it more abundantly than you've ever had it before. See, you can still have God's provision. You can have God's protection. And you're still going to have opposition. Not everybody's happy when God's working in your life. Not everybody's happy that you come to church. Not everybody's happy when you tie. Not everybody's happy even when you start serving the Lord. If you will understand, many times opposition is not what you think it is. Opposition is from the devil to discourage you and defeat you and God's greater than he is and he wants to take the opposition and turn it into the greatest opportunity in your life. God usually allows problems and even to some extent punishment to prepare you for something greater. Would you allow God to use you wherever you're at? Would you allow him to start preparing you? It's the preparation for God for you to do something greater than you've ever done. We all have a choice when pain and problems come. You can let your pain and problem cause you to progress in the Lord or you can allow it to progress in the enemy. It's all in the perspective that we have. See, when you change your perspective on who God is versus your opposition is, it will change the way you view your problems in life. I, I can honestly say probably I'm in one of the greatest stages of my life in spite of the age of my life. Some people say, man, I think God's going to really use you. I'm too young. I think God wants you. I'm too old. How about right in the middle? Not now. I'm too busy. When you find God's divine destiny, you find his purpose, you begin to enjoy the protection, the provisions, the passion, and new perspective. Esther 4, 13. Mordecai sent a reply to Esther. Don't think for a moment that because you're living in a palace, you're going to escape when all the other Jews are killed. Don't think that you're not going to escape the problems that will come onto your life if you don't do what God's called you to do. God was using Mordecai, her uncle, in a great and mighty way to encourage her to do what God called her to do. And he says, if you don't do it, there's going to be some people die. But you know what, Journey Church? Maybe we're here for just a time as this. I honestly believe if we don't go to Alexandria and to our own cities and our own homes and our own schools, there's going to be people die spiritually that can be worse than a physical death. Opportunity or opposition. Don't let opposition cause you to miss the greatest opportunity of your life.